back to my once upon a time. This is episode 10 of season 2. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to carry on with the season, see what's going to happen, because I really liked what they've done with it so far. Um, and last episode was great, because we had like all the big reunions I've been hoping for through the whole season. Um, and now Hook and Cora are at Storybrooke, so um, I feel like things are really going to kick up another gear now. Um, I don't really know what to expect um, and what could happen. Um, I mean, there's going to be chaos, I'm sure. Um, I think there's going to be still kind of a bit more tension with like Emma and Regina and stuff over, you know, how to handle Henry and everything and um, both being mothers to him. Um, I'm sure Neil needs to come back into it at some point. I don't know when, um, but that's going to stir up a lot of drama as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to carry on um, and see what's going to happen next because I believe this will be the first episode to air after like the Christmas and New Year kind of mid-season break. Um, so I'm excited. I can't wait to get back into it and see what's going to happen next. So let's go. <laughs> Music was good in that little bit. Hello. 28 years is too long. This is the chapter after the story begins. Oh fuck. Apparently, tacos not a big item in the enchanted rest. In this face, she's traumatized. Go make the tacos. You know what? I I'm gonna go make some tacos. You want a brother or sister? It's impressive that we can still provide her with a few traumatic childhood memories at this stage of the game. Oh, they're so wholesome. Oh, that's not. Oh, my God, the number of times people do this on this show. It used to be a drinking game. No! So extra. Oh. Awkward. For what, five minutes, maybe? <laughs> Hello, and Emma sign. Pitiful. Mary Margaret and I, we have a saying that we will always find each other. And while I believe that with all my heart, I'd like you all to raise your glasses and join me when I say, here's to not having to look for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Margaret and Emma. Yeah! Yes. Sorry, I'm late. Oh. What is she doing? Here? Oh my. I invited her. Oh, that's nice of you. She's trying to change for Henry. He believes in her. And right now, that's enough for me. No. I couldn't have changed if I wasn't given a chance. Oh, no one's talking to her. I wonder if I feel bad for her after everything she's done. Thank you. You just said that for inviting me. Henry wanted it because you know so much about parenting in the five minutes you've been with him. Oh fuck, don't Talk do this again. David. At least he took care of him while you were away like I did during the ten years you were away the first time. Okay. Because of something you did though. No, wait, I'm sorry. I should be going. I really want him to get along. After everything. Might take a bit of work, but we have like another five seasons. <laughs> How am I supposed to prove to people I've changed when you're there to chirp in their ears and remind them of my past? I said nothing specific. I would never betray the doctor-patient confidentiality. Doctor? Doctor. Need I remind you about your PhD from a curse? Hey! <laughs> is everything okay? <laughs> okay, I'm dressed like a Stark. The kingdom is in danger. We must kill the queen. Shit. Thank well, you. it goes very well, clearly. If we don't stop her now, there's no telling what she'll live to do. Lol. It's got a point there. Dog. Oh! What the fuck? Is that Cora? Looked like her magic. Was, wasn't it? Crafty bitch. I'm walking 
helping you because that's what mothers do, and I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Archie. He's not dead. No. Who would do this? <gasps> Cora fucking killed him. I think I know. Oh, she saw Regina. Bugger. Oh, the one time Virginia's bloody innocent. You have a visitor. How could I blame the one I love most? It's gonna come out to bite you on the arse, mate. Stand by me. To the end. Till I rip your heart out. It doesn't have to be the end. They will spare you. Just give them a reason. Just give me a reason. I like the parallels between her being on like on trial in both timelines. Surely Emma knows. Stop it, Regina. Ruby said Emma can sense if she's dying and she's not. Last night. Then she's lying. Surely Ruby would understand. Like she was in the frame from there like two episodes ago. How does she get out of this one then? Oh, maybe with him. <laughs> that creepy bastard. Regina. I can't believe Archie's she's dead. That's right. That's fucked her up. Even Bloody death. Cora. Regret that I was not able to cause more pain. Oh, I knew she was gonna do that. Inflict more misery. One extra way to go, even though you're death. not about to die. And above all else, with every ounce of my being, I regret that I was not able to kill Snow White. Fuck. Maybe Rumpel will save her now. Because she's like. Really evil. Oh man. I saw that scene in Game of Thrones of Tyrion being in, uh, on trial. I believe her. Hey. With all due respect, you don't know her like we do. Maybe that's the problem. I know in your kingdom she was the evil queen, but here she's Regina. Yeah, that's true. And I'm still the sheriff, and I say she's innocent. She's not burdened by all of Regina's so, past, is she? My, my, aren't we trouble, Tyrion? Yeah. Maybe I just want her alive. That I doubt. <laughs> Question my motors all your life, Barry, but they shall remain man. The more she's alive, the more we can twist her. Ruby saw her outside Ugh. last night. Now her file is empty. That's that's a lot of evidence. David, it's like a kind of episode ago. Like well, I don't know how it is. I've learned from my mistake with Mary Margaret, and I'm going to believe that Ruby's innocent. Evidence. But he's not doing it anymore. It's been way too easy. Unless someone wants <sighs> us to find evidence, no one was there. Well, that's not strictly true now, is it? Oh, you can talk hey, boy, to the dog. Boy. Boy, boy. Yeah, but the dog thinks it's Regina. <laughs> uh, yeah. If it tells us something about Archie's death, then so be it. Yeah, but it's a tiny the wrong thing. You know what this is. It's a trick. Will it? Will we walls? What doesn't he have in his bloody shop? I want to go there. Are you right all along? No. Oh, what a hot mess. She'll see us coming. Leave that to me. Trust me, we're locking her up. Oh, is she gonna like use like their newfound trust kind of relationship and like abuse it to capture her? Because I don't think I can deal with that emotional pain. The woman who saved my life all those years ago had good in her. That woman lost much. And now she's gone. She can come back. As hard as you've tried to bear I her. hope the show ends with like Regina redeeming herself. I think she's still Or even you. she no, redeemed herself before the end of the show. I'm letting the woman who saved my life go. But she's tried to kill you a lot more times than she's tried to save you, let's be honest. To leave the evil behind in this cell. Rumble still in. We took one of your hairs from this and used it to fashion a protection spell. No. Now there's nothing you can do in this land to hurt Snow or me. You're powerless against us. Fuck. You tricked me. It wasn't a trick. Again. It was a test. One that I had truly hoped you'd pass. We wanted to give you a chance to change, Regina. Regina, you are banished. 
banished to live alone with your misery. As long as you're alive in this world, you can't hurt us. That's why she wants the curse. And if you ever try to hurt anyone in my kingdom again, I will kill you. <whistles> Shit. God, these relationships are getting so complex and I love it. I will not let you poison Henry against me. It's oh. an interesting word choice. Since you already did. But it was Cora. He deserves to hear my side of the story. He's my son! He's not! He's mine! Oh, Not for this fuck. Thing anywhere near him. Do it! Oh. His effects looked really good. Did you really think that would work again? And who you will always be. No. Oh, God, this is so twisted. Off she goes. <sighs> I feel really bad for her, but also at the same time, I'm like, it's a mess of her own making. We don't have to go through any of it alone. Aww. We're family. <gasps> oh god, I don't want to see this. Poor Henry. And it's all lies. Oh no. This is all his manipulations. We can find his son. You can never harm them. In this land, I have a wedding to get to. <gasps> Isn't that like the first scene of the show? At least in the first episode, wasn't it? Someone who can help us determine his weaknesses here. <gasps> Dr. Hopper. Well, that's him, then. Who did you kill? Oh. How do I know? It's my first day in town. Disguise the body to look like him. Who did you kill then? It wasn't punishment enough. Has she still you killed someone that we know? Thank you. Now you'll have all the knowledge you'll need. I'm glad he's not dead though. Some work. But fuck. But this cricket will chirp. Aye. That he will. Oh, Archie. Oh dear. Okay, that was a great episode. Really, really liked it. Um. I really, as always, love the focus on like the whole charming family and in particular their individual bonds with Regina um, and how we kind of saw in both Storybrooke and in The Land with Magic um, we were seeing events play out both with like Regina being on trial um, which was interesting but also like Regina's relationships with all these individual people um, kind of truly kind of fall apart um, because, you know, Snow White was like, you know, you true, you failed my test, you truly are irredeemable, you're banished. Um, and now in Storybook, everyone, everyone thinks she's killed Archie, even though it's just all Cora's fault, bitch. Um, and now she's kind of cast out from everyone. And she, Oh, when she watched Henry being told Archie was dead. Oh, it broke my little heart. Um, I feel really bad for her, but at the same time, um, <laughs> it's a mess of her own making, but at the same time, um, she went for a lot of shit. But at the same time, Snow White was just a little girl. So, oh, it's hard to blame people, but at the same time, you can blame them. It's a very complicated and complex and very well-written situation and relationships, and I love that. Um, and yeah, and even now, Regina's kind of disappeared and magicked herself away from Storybook um, and is in hiding. So even she's kind of banished from Storybook at the minute, which is a cool little parallel. I like how they did that. Um, so yeah, that was really interesting and I liked seeing Emma actually, you know, hold on to this hope that for um, Henry's sake, if nothing else, that Regina was innocent and even though she is obviously because of Cora's tricks, she does believe that Regina's guilty. Um, and oh, Cora, what a bitch. She's a really good villain though. Um, but I'm hoping they sort this whole mess out soon and uh, Regina can make amends with Henry and everyone. But it's an awful situation. Uh, but yeah, I love the focus on that family, I love the flashbacks we were getting, Rumpelstiltskin continuing to kind of um, manipulate things 
and get Virginia to make this curse so he can find his son and stuff like that. Um, so it kind of it came full circle with like the origin of the idea of Virginia's curse and how that seems to end those flashbacks ended as like a precursor to the opening scenes of Once Upon a Time, which I really really liked. I thought that was really cool. Um, I love it when things come full circle like that. So I, I thought that was a very cleverly told story there. Um, I mean, I was completely gobsmacked that Archie was killed off, but then it turns out he's not. Um, so I'm kind of worried about who actually is dead. Is that going to be a big reveal? Or is that just some like some random other we don't really know that Cora kills and just made it look like Archie? I don't know. Um, so, oh no, that would have been Archie. Or maybe she just, when the smoke appeared, she just kidnapped Archie and then just killed someone and placed a body there. That would make more sense. I was thinking, well, maybe the dog was barking at Archie because it wasn't actually him as opposed to Regina, but that was Cora as Regina, so he must have been barking at her. Anyway, big tangent. But yeah, I really liked that kind of plot device because it held some emotional weight. Obviously not a ton now because we know Archie's still alive, but that's good. I'm glad he's not dead. Because um, that would been a brutal way to kill off him, blimey. Um, but that makes for a very interesting story, and I can't wait to see how they're going to kind of play out with that whole thing. Um, although, if we can kind of lay low on the plots where people have framed for murder after this, because um, that's like three times now, and I feel like we don't want to overuse that story, um, that plot. But yeah, there we are. Um, and like, however briefly we did see Cora and Hook in this episode, um, I actually really like them as villains, and I like them as like a pair of villains as well. Um, I always think it's an interesting dynamic when there's like more than one like main villain. Um, so I really enjoyed that dynamic with the two of them, and I can't wait to see what they go up to. Um, so a lot of this episode was obviously focusing on Cora's revenge on Regina, um, so I'm sure we'll get at least an episode or two of it being more about Hook trying to get his revenge on um, Mr. Gold. So that'll be really exciting, I can't wait to, that, um, to see that. Um, and then I also liked the whole kind of theme and idea the episode played with of like the burden of Regina's past um, and how in the land of magic Snow was very much holding on to this idea of Regina used to be good and if she turned evil she can turn good again um, and you know it was like this woman saved my life once um, and she was very much holding on to that for a long time um, as a means to keep Regina alive and try and redeem her um, and that's what Emma was kind of holding on to as well in storybooks. So I liked that parallel because Emma was very much um, saying, you know, I don't know all the history with Regina and everything she's done like, you know, um, her parents do. Um, so she kind of has more of an open mind in that sense. So I really liked the parallels in, you know, two members of well, mother and daughter um, still kind of holding on to hope that Regina could be good. Um, so I really liked that. And then the idea of like being a good parent and parenting and stuff like that. Um, because, you know, we had some conversations in the start with Emma and Regina, you know, about Henry coming to stay with Regina for a bit and the fact that they're both his mother. Uh, so there's tension there and then that really escalated at the end of the episode. Um, and Emma's worried because she's only been, you know, Henry's parent for five minutes. Um, but Snow and Charming are going through exactly the same thing as well. So I really like that, because that's just a common problem all the family is sharing, so that should help them kind of grow closer and bond because of it. Um, so that was really cool. But obviously, that wholesome bonding experience with that family comes at the, you know, the expense of Regina being framed for a murder she didn't commit. For once, a murder she didn't commit. Um, you know, normally when something goes wrong, it's either Regina or Mr. Gold, but... It's nice that they've, you know, because Cora's here, it was her this time. Uh, so, yeah, I really liked the themes and the story threads and the parallels that this episode had going on. Once Upon a Time is always great with parallels, but this episode was a really, really great example of that. And, yeah, things really kicked off. Like, what a way to kind of kick off almost the second half of the season, in a way, since I think this was the first episode back after um, Christmas and New Year. Um... So yeah, this is a very interesting plot thread. I can't wait to see where they go with this. Um, I'm sure it opens a lot more doors to explore like Regina's relationships with everyone um, and everyone's relationships in turn with Regina. Um, and yeah, it is very complicated how like David seems to have forgotten the lesson he learned about 
believing that Mary Margaret had killed um, Catherine, um, even though he was trying to learn from that lesson a couple of episodes ago when that guy was killed by um, King George, whatever his name is in the present day timeline. Um, and even Ruby a couple of episodes ago was kind of being framed for, you know, um, killing that guy uh, in the same episode. Um, and now she's like, oh yeah, definitely Regina. <laughs> I saw her. Um, but yeah, obviously it's a trick, so it makes sense that Ruby would fall into that trap. Um, but hopefully, once all this mess is cleared up, people will, you know, second-guess themselves a bit, maybe, think a bit more clearly, try and gather a bit more evidence. Um, but I can see why people will convince it's Regina this time, but it sucks. It's a sad situation, but it shows what a good villain Cora is. Um, and it's cool kind of having... Cora and Hook as like the villains because it allows us to feel a bit more sorry for Regina and relate to her a bit more and root for her to succeed um, which is something I don't think many people could really do in season one because Regina was a bitch throughout season one um, and she, you know she's still not fully redeemed I don't think she's justified in a lot of the stuff she's done um, but you're still rooting for her and again I think I'm in the same boat as Emma really um, I want things to work out well for Regina for Henry's sake because Henry really cares about her. Um, I'm very much in that boat, I think. So the same kind of situation as Emma. And hopefully this will all get, you know, cleared up very, very soon. Uh, but it's a very interesting story and I can't wait to see where they take it. Um, I feel like this is going to drive the next kind of portion of the season. So I'm very excited to see where they go with this plot. Uh, it should be really cool. And yeah, great episode. Really, really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. But until next time... Thanks for watching.